What's going on guys? Firewolf Tech here showing you guys the QQH Z12-2 portable monitor. This monitor features a 15.6 inch 1080p IPS display with a 60Hz refresh rate and a cool and unique picture frame style kickstand. It's also lightweight at 1.6 pounds and has a 0.3 inch slim profile. USB-C connectivity makes it versatile to connect your MacBook or laptop and you also get a mini HDMI port that gives you more options to connect to even more devices like a gaming console. The Z12-2 is also inexpensive with prices well under $100 making this a cost effective option for a budget friendly monitor. Stay tuned because I'll be showcasing MacBook connectivity, PC gaming, PS5 gameplay and even iPhone connectivity. Huge thanks to QQH for sending this portable monitor for review and sponsoring this video. So let's unbox the QQH portable monitor. Comes in this really nice white box. Let's go ahead and slide it up. All right, and right inside the box here, we're gonna get a nice user manual. Next, we're gonna get instructions on how to use the foldable kickstand. All right, here's the actual monitor itself, wrapped in some really nice plastic here. All right, we got some nice protective plastic here. Let's go ahead and take that off. All right, and there we have it, guys. A beautiful IPS display here. Really nice. You can see QQH right on the bottom bezel here. You can see right on the bottom here, we also have a power button. We also have a minus plus and an M prior for the menu. And right in the back here, we have a really nice, interesting design here. You can see it has a kickstand that basically imitates like a frame. So there's like a little ledge over here. You just basically just push that out there and you can have it standing up, which is really nice. And I like the fact that it's integrated. You can also see some built-in speakers over here as well. And on the right side of the monitor, we have all of our ports here. We have a nice HDMI port. We have two USB-Cs. And then we also have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which is really nice. You can see on this side, we have the labels for each of these ports. Further inside the box, we're gonna have a nice USB-C to C cable. They're also gonna give us a mini HDMI to HDMI port. Next, we're gonna have a USB-A to C cable. Now, this is gonna be used to supply extra power to the portable monitor uh, for extra stability in case your device doesn't have enough. And finally, we get this nice USB-A power adapter, again, to use that USB-A to C cable, which is really nice. The built-in kickstand is very easy to use and it sits flush with the monitor when not in use. It's very similar to a stand that comes with a picture frame, which I thought was unique and different. Most portable monitors that I've reviewed usually come with a smart cover that gives you two different angles to stand the display. But this kickstand gives you more flexibility, angles, and even gives you the ability to use it in portrait, which is awesome. The only downside to this, in my opinion, is that the screen is left exposed, so you need to be extra careful when taking this with you on the go. A carrying case would be a good option to consider. If you have a supported MacBook or laptop, connecting this portable monitor is very easy and you only need one compatible USB-C cable, which QQH includes in the box. Connecting my M3 MacBook Pro using a USB-C cable was simple and easy, making it plug and play without the need to download or install any drivers. Keep in mind that depending on your laptop, you may need to plug in a dedicated power source if it doesn't supply enough power. The display quality on this is good for the price and adds precious real estate to double your productivity. With a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 15.6 inches, you get a pixel density of 141 pixels per inch. While nowhere close to the display quality of the MacBook Pro, you still get that extra productivity which is perfect for multitasking and I can comfortably use two windows side by side on the portable monitor and be able to read and see all the important details. The C12 has a matte coating, so it's most likely not going to be the same as your laptop's glossier screen, but the benefit of matte displays is that it does a good job of deflecting light sources and reduces glare and reflections. Testing out the gaming performance on my gaming PC has been a good experience. Since this monitor is very budget friendly, there is no AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync support. I personally would have preferred a higher refresh rate to take advantage of higher frames, but for the price of this monitor, 60Hz and a good display is enough to enjoy gaming on the go. You can sometimes notice slight screen tears, so I wouldn't recommend this for competitive action-packed games, but for a more casual, laid-back experience, this does a job. The integrated speakers sound decent, but I would still recommend headphones for a better audio experience. I'm so glad that it comes with speakers just in case. PC gaming is definitely overkill for this monitor, so this instead would be perfect as an additional screen to your main monitor. 
Taking a break from gaming, this monitor has a 15.6 inch IPS display, which gives you great viewing angles and better color accuracy versus VA panels. On dark settings, you'll notice the backlight, which wouldn't give you perfect blacks, but most IPS displays are like this anyway. While the color gamut isn't listed, I found the colors to be good for the price. Now, if you want to connect this to your PS5 or other consoles like the Series X, you may need to use a dedicated power adapter for this monitor to run efficiently. Thankfully, the PS5's USB-C input gives it enough power to run with the only other cable you need is the included mini HDMI to HDMI cable. While this monitor doesn't support variable refresh rate, it still runs good and will output 1080p resolution at 60Hz, which is more than enough for most PS5 titles. It supports HDR gaming and for a screen under $100, it does a good job. Another cool feature you can use this monitor is using a compatible smartphone with USB-C display port like my iPhone 15 Pro so you can take it to the big screen. Rotating your phone automatically widens on the monitor which is great and I love how seamless it is. I personally would use this connectivity as a viewfinder for my iPhone's main camera. It's convenient and useful to see exactly what the main camera is looking at in a larger display. Sure, the built-in front-facing camera is nice, but the quality of the main camera is so much better and you can use this monitor to point the main camera directly at you for better selfie style videos and pictures. To access the menu, you have dedicated buttons on the front of the monitor, which I'm personally not a fan of. I would have preferred it to be on the side of the monitor for a cleaner look. The upside though is that you can make changes quicker and easier with these nicely sized buttons. There are many options to customize your experience from colors, inputs, and brightness. And I like how the buttons are illuminated blue, making it very easy to make these changes even at the darkest settings. The QQH Z12 is priced competitively, making this very affordable and budget friendly. It's also highly rated on Amazon, which makes sense because this is a great value. For a great low price, you're getting a wide range of compatibility and I love that it includes a built-in kickstand. I can see myself bringing this with me while traveling and 15.6 inches is a good sweet spot. Not too big, not too small. So all in all guys, the QQA Z12-2 is a budget friendly portable monitor that I have no issues recommending if you want a portable monitor that doesn't break the bank and has so many different ways on how to use it. It's a great option for a secondary screen to your laptop or desktop and is very lightweight to bring it anywhere. I do recommend picking up a 15.6 inch monitor carrying case if you're planning on taking it with you on the go. It may not be the best high tech monitor with ultra high resolution, the best colors, or the fastest refresh rates, but for a 1080p portable monitor that gives you so much value, this is a great choice. If you're interested in getting this monitor or the many tech that you've seen in this video, I will have affiliate links down below which also helps and supports the Firewolf Tech channel. Even though QQH has sent this monitor for review and sponsored this video, all opinions are my own honest review. I appreciate QQH for choosing me to showcase this portable monitor. I also want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video and would love to know your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments down below. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I would love your support with a like, share, and subscribe. Firewolf out.